So the gravel road's more of a mud road. Yeehaw. Good morning, everybody. Today's ride, I am headed a little bit north to Charlottesville, Virginia. I'm gonna be doing the Pantani ride named after Marco Pantani. This is uh, another ride put on by the Virginia Endurance Series. So it's a free ride, not a race. Um, just kind of a big organized group ride. I think we're gonna be just shy of 50 miles for this one. I think it's like 5,500 feet of gain or something like that. So pretty, uh, pretty high climbing thing. Hence the naming after Pantani because he was known as a pretty good climber I guess. I am flying solo today. Just me and my oatmeal. Totes modes. So yeah, first big ride since the whole COVID deal. So curious to see how this one will turn out. But goal of the day for the most part is just to kind of keep my heart rate under control since that seems to be the main issue. My legs still seem to feel pretty good and still have some strength and everything in them but it's just that heart rate that a little bit higher than it was pre-COVID which may not be a huge deal but still want to try to look after it. So as surprising as it may sound I was about five minutes missing the mass start of the group. I have to think about planes dropping bombs and dump trucks and soft serve ice cream. Uh, that did it. So I'm playing catch up all day, but that's okay. It's not a race. And uh, I have my sweet aero bars testing these out because probably going to use them at Unbound. So figured it'd probably be good to get comfortable with them beforehand. Woo. Don't even have to hit the gravel for it to be pretty. Pretty sure we're climbing that mountain right in front of us at some point. About to hit the first stretch of gravel here. Whew. So far only passed one dude who was on a mountain bike on the all road. So yeah, I'm going pretty fast. Never run stop signs, kids. So the gravel road's more of a mud road that's to be expected i guess with the uh snow we had just melting off probably in the last few days can't wait to see what the mountain gravel roads are going to look like yeehaw My little uh, balance issue thing is there. I can tell, especially when I stand and look down, slightly noticeable, but it's not really bad enough to affect anything. I can just kind of feel it. So hopefully it'll stay that way and not be a problem. Oh. Forgot about all these little punches. Hello, hello. Hey, how are you doing? There's the sun. 
supposed to warm up to 60 today. I hope it does. I'm in shorts and just a jersey. I did bring a little windbreaker vest for the descents off the mountain just in case. But right now it's like 50, low 50s, so not exactly balmy, but I'm comfortable. Cool little covered bridge. Uh, I was getting excited to pass somebody. But it looks like he's on a mountain bike too. Womp, womp. Hey puppy dogs. Starting to speed up a little bit here. Something cracked. I don't know what that was. Probably my bottle cage. Hopefully not a wheel. I don't get why you're saying it that way. Why I'm saying what what way? These are aluminum, so I don't think they pop like that. Is worse than the gravel road. Just give everything a quick check here. Don't see any cracks. Could have just been the chain or something in there rattling around. I think we're okay. This is starting to climb up Simmons Gap Road. And my drivetrain is making some kind of God off the sound. Hopefully not related to the nice pop I heard on the descent hitting that water bar. Hey horsey, don't let me scare you. Going way up there at some point. Still climbing. Getting to the steep bit now. God. Oh. So this is standing in first gear. That was hard. Slick. Yeah, we come back down this for the way back. It's kind of a double lollipop out here. Oh, oh God. Howdy, howdy. Hey, hey. Bars are giving me a headache. Ow. Yep, gotta come back up this. Ugh. This was a fun descent the year I did it, but it was dry. It's a little sketchy with the mud. 
tires don't exactly have a whole lot of tread on them. Ooh, and it's chilly. I think I might stop put the vest on after all. Ooh, little bit cold. Be nice to have something for my arms right about now, but oh well. Morons can't be choosers. Oh. oh, that one just blasted me in the face with mud. <laughs> yep, we've got the camera there too. So at the bottom of this, cuts out onto a road section kind of in a, goes along the base of the mountain. And we go back up. The other side is also a gravel road. And it's also another super steep one. Hello. Maybe even steeper than the stuff I've been on so far, but I don't think the steep part is quite as long. But I'm sure it's gonna hurt regardless. The bad part about when it's muddy like this, you can't use your front brake because it'll wash you out in the turns. But the back brake doesn't do enough to slow you down on these really steep roads like this. So it's kind of a finicky situation. Don't run stop signs, kids. Now we're going to traverse this little road here for what looks like about two miles and head back up the mountain. Thought I should mention a little something about the aero bars here. Like I said, I'm planning on running them at uh, Unbound, so I figured I'd touch on it before everyone's thinking, look at this goober with his aero bars. First of all, you're not wrong. Second of all, they save a ton of time and effort on the flats. So they put you in a very aerodynamic, aerodynamic, aero, aerodynamic position. Hence the name. Not the safest thing in the world if you have no brakes or gear shifting ability. So you have to plan ahead a little bit and they're very twitchy, which is why a lot of people make fun of them for in a gravel application, which definitely something to be said there. But obviously, the idea is not to use them when you're in the middle of a group, but more like I am right now, out on a flat section by yourself where you don't have a group to draft and get you out of the wind. So they have their place, but it also gives you a different hand position, seating position, just to kind of switch up your butt a little bit and your hands. Let's not run into the back of this tractor, if at all possible. Hopefully he sees me. Scoot. Oh, all right, anyway, back to more uh, steep climbing. Oh, gosh. Did I mention steep? Yeah, this turns into gravel here in a little bit. Oh, my gosh. My drivetrain sounds terrible. Not every day you have to walk up a gravel road. There's some hunting dogs right up here on this ridge above me. Bear hunting. And I heard some kind of footsteps. 
come through before the dog. <laughs> that might have been the bear. Finishing up the lollipop, the outer lollipop. So then, just gotta climb back up this steep bit to that top of uh, Simmons Gap. <sighs> and then the big downhill. Was picking a ride named after one of the best climbers to ever race in the Tour de France. As my first ride back, a good idea? Probably not. But hey, if I can get up this, I should be okay. Now for the really steep bit. Water bars or breaking bumps are far and away my least favorite thing about gravel. So that was the Simmons Gap descent. Now I got this little stretch of gravel and we'll hop back on the pavement for, if I remember correctly, mostly kind of a rolling Traverse back to the start finish line. Cha chunk. Oh. Yep, that's a good one. Oh. Oh. Wrong out back. Oh. 